Today we're gonna take a quick look at Cartoon Animator 5 and two of its best features, vector graphics and Photoshop integration. These two features are some of the highlights of my experience with Cartoon Animator and even though I feel like Cartoon Animator 5 isn't getting as much love as it deserves, I think the tides are changing lately with a ton of artists praising the software for its innovation and active development with all artists and animators friendly features. And I think these two are a great highlight of why you should give Cartoon Animator 5 a try. If you are an animator or motion graphic artist or you deal with anything 2D related regularly, Cartoon Animator could be a great tool in your workflow. Developed by Reillusion and known previously as Crazy Talk Animator if any boomers are watching. It is a powerful 2D animator app jam-packed with everything that would make your life dealing with 2D animation much easier. From the robust pipeline, assets manager, easy import and export options, the new FFD which allows you to squash and stretch any character with a ton of already made presets in addition to a 360 head creator, IK FK character animation, seamless motion capture animation, 3D motion to 2D, and the recent motion pilot in addition to motion path animator which allows you to guide animations using the mouse or create paths for your characters to follow. And not to forget auto physics, giving you the option to add physics and secondary motion to your characters automatically, in addition to much more stuff, making it one of the best tools for 2D animators. Now, one of Cartoon Animator 5's major features is Vector Graphics Animation Pipeline, which allows you to use the power of crisp vector, infinitely scalable graphics, and dynamic visuals. With this feature, you can easily incorporate a variety of SVG vector assets from anywhere, whether you got it from an online store or created using popular software such as Illustrator, CorelDRAW, or other capable software, and you can drop them right into your project. The vector graphics pipeline was introduced a while back, and it opened the door to a lot of quality of life workflows and features. For instance, the ability to take advantage of the uncompromised visual fidelity over the vector workflow. So now, you can have a city that looks great from the sky and zoom in infinitely to showcase or highlight some of the parts without being worried about pixelation. This can prove very beneficial, especially in explainer videos and motion graphics. Another feature is adjustable colors and styles. You know how vector-based graphics are made of layers and paths with each one in a different group. Similarly, Cartoon Animator take advantage of this by allowing designers the power to define color combinations and opacity settings for any vector group which enables you to create a ton of different designs by just hiding or changing the colors different parts like clothing, hair, skin tone, etc. For instance, you can make a ton of variation based on the same character and the group option allows you to group different colors together for easy modifications. Furthermore, with Cartoon Animator, you can take advantage of their rigging and animation tools, as well as video composition and rendering with vector-based graphics formats such as SVG, which can be imported to CDI seamlessly from any vector-based software. But wait a second, that's not all the vector workflow has to offer. There is another trick up its sleeves, which I think a lot of animators might find useful. And this is the ability to create a G3 360 character with the SVG G3 character template. The way it works is very simple. You use the template to organize all the body parts into logically grouped layers in your software of choice. And the template can be downloaded for either PSD raster graphics workflow or the SVG vector graphic workflow. The benefit of this is that you can quickly get a character set up with a 360 hat, extended bones, pins, and even spring behavior. So that was the vector pipeline. But what about the raster graphics? Well, Cartoon Animator PSD Image Animation Pipeline provides a fully functional PSD integration. The round trip editing between Photoshop or any mainstream PSD editor with Cartoon Animator, which helps you similar to the vector workflow, bring images to life. The dynamic link allows you to go back and forth between the two software, saving you a ton of time and headaches. This works not only for characters, because this workflow 
enables you to open the door for even incorporating PSD files to scenes and props. The layer-based PSD files can be leveraged in Cartoon Animator as manageable scene elements by using Z-Depth to easily create a 3D parallax effect with an animated camera. This simplifies the process of building environments a ton, as you can simply export and import from Photoshop to Cartoon Animator in basically real time, which is amazing. But it doesn't have to be just Photoshop. You can use any of the mainstream software like Krita, Affinity, or Coral Draw. Couple this with the already existing custom animation and motion presets in Cartoon Animator, and you have yourself a very powerful way for animating props. Or you can take advantage of the freeform deformation presets and tools to create any animation you want. And everything we talked about doesn't even scratch the surface of the powerhouse that is Cartoon Animator now with its version 5.2 introducing motion pilot and motion path animation, in addition to a ton of other features. This is for sure will make the life of any animator or motion designer a lot easier. So guys, if you are interested, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. You can also check some of our previous videos. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next one.